Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel and how is everyone? Right, so uh, today we're going to talk. Uh, I uh, went to the PLDT uh, yesterday and uh, uh, the other day and uh, yeah, all is done about my internet. I complained. I had a problem as always with my internet. It's slow, you know, be before uh, when you get out from the room and then you are sitting here and yeah you have a good network but now uh, the other day I received the I received the call from the PLDT you know a promotion and they asked me that oh ma'am we have a promotion uh, Wi-Fi router that to make your internet fast in long as like you know uh, how many meters like uh, 30 minute, uh, meters away uh, from the router that yeah, the network can be you know uh, you st still can reach it so uh, I said okay if I want I will go there in the office and inquire but for now I don't want because when they are giving you to that router you know they're going to give a more you know i pay now my internet uh connection just like 45 dollars a month 40 dollars a month yeah something like that we have to put that way and uh yeah once you get those uh router uh wi-fi router and they are going to add uh you uh, to 300 like 300 pesos per month and you have to pay that uh, for uh, like one year so one year for 300 uh, pesos like six dollars additional to your bill a month so that's it and I of course I don't want because you know I if I going to upload my video I have to go close with uh, to to the Wi-Fi where's my uh, router so then you know that's it and you know i know that the business business they do that because they want more additional you know uh of course the payment that you have to do regularly uh every month so i just don't need it you know uh it's just kind of uh I, i'm not always here in the youtube actually as like uh, five or more a day to upload the YouTube so a video on YouTube so I'm okay with it for now which is you know before I have a, I have a very good network so that's it and uh, yeah well uh, I noticed I'm wondering why you know uh, we have uh, what's this uh, we have now uh, like uh i can't remember uh well the president uh extend the uh, the mandatory for all the you know the whole philippines that he announced it like last week or earlier last week uh that with if you have no vaccinated if you're not vaccinated then you will get uh was this arrested wherever you go or you're driving or whatever because because you can you cannot enter the other city because all the boundaries they're going to have a checkpoint and they're they're going to uh what's this check you if you have uh fully vaccinated or not or you're vaccinated at least you're one shot or whatever uh, then they are let you into the other city, but uh, if you're not, then they, you can't. That's how the other uh, cities work now. You know, uh, although is not all the people has uh, have vaccine because the you know everybody have a choice. If you don't want to have a vaccine, then your choice. And then uh, yeah, they do that mandatory right now also. Uh, together with the gun, you know, checking the gun because going to election. So that's it. It's kind of a tight for the people that is 
uh, no non vaccinated and they can't go anywhere or going to the other city they just have to go around uh, the city where they live but to go enter to other city they are limited because they can't get through with the you know the boundary of the city by city so i think it's kind of a you know uh it's for me i'm not i'm not uh uh what's this approved with it you know it's it's not good because you know uh like they are government they are controlling too much people uh too much the people you know uh freedom just like that in the use for uh the use the covid you know they use the uh pandemic they use this virus to do such a things you know lots of things so it's kind of a uh, uh, for uh, innocent people and you know uh, uh, normal people here and you know I'm sure all the richest person yeah they are always follow the rules because you know they need it and uh, me actually honestly I really don't want to have a vaccine because I just you know not used it it's supposed to be and but I have no choice because I seem like that I went to travel I used that uh, I went to travel to Iloilo last you know month and if I I'm not vaccinated then I can't go travel there so <laughs> I was forced uh, myself to vaccinate because I need it. But to be honest, if they don't control and then it's just by optional only uh, or by choice, honestly, I don't want. But you know, I have out of you know uh, uh, choice that I can't do vaccine, so I I cannot go anywhere. So anyway, so that's it. But you know, so far, uh, most of the mall now, uh, they're they're opening and the kids are allowed inside, with uh, parents fully vaccinated. But some of the mall, the like you know the Gaisano uh, mall here in Silay City, they don't uh, really allow the vaccine card. They just let you in with the kids, but like I said more, uh, SM, they look with the vaccine, uh, uh, the, uh, the parents fully vaccinated before they let the kids in. It's just that the way it is, you know, but for me, uh, the, war, uh, the, the, the freedom of the people is tight now, and uh, the government uh, has control uh to uh local people you know and that's it we have to uh live the way it is you know we don't have choice but uh hopefully uh this coming election uh, everybody will have to uh have a good you know uh good life and choose the right president as we are hoping right so that's it. Thank you for everybody and uh, good luck. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.